In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Catalog Worksheet and the Inventory Manager. These are two powerful tools that will help you in keeping your inventory organized. Let's start by looking at the Catalog Worksheet. This can be found on the Inventory menu. In the Catalog Worksheet, you can quickly and easily edit information about inventory items. You can either view all of the inventory item models that you have in your system, or you can perform a specific search. From here, you can edit any field by clicking on it. All changes are automatically saved as you click out of the field. Double-clicking on the Group field will open the Group Selection window. You have the ability to rearrange the columns by clicking and dragging. You can also adjust the size of the columns. As you can see, there are many fields that you can edit. If you want to change which columns are visible, click on the Visible Columns menu. A check mark next to the column means that that column will be visible. Let's say that you only want to see the financial information for the inventory items. With the other columns not visible, you can now work on a single page without having to scroll. Remember, all changes are automatically saved. Now let's look at the Inventory Manager. This is also found on the Inventory menu. The Inventory Manager is a tool that lets you see the important information about your inventory like barcodes, serial numbers, current location, and whether or not the item is in a container. There are many different search options in the Inventory Manager, like item name, serial number, barcode, etc. Let's search the inventory for iPads. The first thing you will notice is that the Inventory Manager returns all serial number results. If you only want to view the inventory model and not each individual serial number, you can uncheck the Include Serial Results selection. Like the Catalog Worksheet, you can rearrange the column order and adjust the column width. The Inventory Manager provides some powerful sorting features as well. Clicking on the arrow on the right-hand side of any column will change the sort order between ascending and descending for that column. You will also notice that each column has a sort priority number. See how the sort priority number and the serial number column changes as we move the cursor. The serial number column is currently number 2 on the sort priority list. If we want to change it to number 1, hover the cursor so the number 1 appears in the column, then click. Or maybe you want the items to sort by barcode first. You can then go through each column and assign the sort order and whether or not the results are ascending or descending. If you click on the Preferences icon, you can change which columns are visible and how many records appear per page. You can now adjust the width and order of the new columns. You can save all the changes you made to the appearance of the Inventory Manager by clicking on the Save Preferences icon. By saving your preferences, the Inventory Manager will appear the same next time you open it. If you want to narrow your search, you can use the filter. Click on the column that you want to filter and begin typing. The results will automatically update. From the toolbar, you can print or export the information on the Inventory Manager. If you have any questions about using the Catalog Worksheet or the Inventory Manager, please email support at flexrentalsolutions.com.